Today I am making lemon pecan cookies and you only need four ingredients, a uh, box of uh, cake mix, and this is Duncan Hines. Now I used to have a recipe for this using a cake mix and I misplaced it, cannot find it anywhere, so I had to look up a recipe for this uh, on the Duncan Hines website. Now it's not the same as the recipe that I used to use, but hopefully this will work out, this recipe. Okay. Um, so you need a cake mix, lemon, uh, lemon supreme, pecans, vegetable oil, and eggs. And this is really easy. Now the oil, it calls for two to three tablespoons of oil and you uh, add in the oil a little bit at a time because you don't want too much oil in it. Otherwise your cookies will run when you're baking them. So you want, want it to be the consistency of a cookie dough. And the pecans we're just gonna place in the center of each cookie uh, prior to baking. So we're, we're not doing any chopping today, which is great. Get a break from that. Okay, I'll get my eggs in here. And I am going to start off with one tablespoon of oil. Well, I'll start off with two. All right, let's get mixing this up. And they bake at 350 degrees and my oven is already preheated. Yeah, we might need a full three tablespoons. We'll see. This is what it's like so far. Oh yeah, I think we're gonna need, definitely need another tablespoon of oil. getting close. And the hardest part about this recipe is stirring it. Okay. Okay, I am going to add maybe half a tablespoon. Oop, that was a full uh, decision, so I'll put it in. Okay, this is coming together. You can see it here. Okay, <clears throat> and I am not quite sure how many cookies this makes either. We will find out. Okay, it's looking pretty good. It's just a little bit here that I can't quite get incorporated in here. All right, looks good. I was going to make lemon bars, but I thought, well, everybody knows how to make those. Well, you probably know how to make these too, but this is quick and easy, and I like the idea of using a cake mix because there really is nothing to measure out other than uh, your oil. Okay, let's... Uh, Use one of my cookie sheets, or get it ready, and a little scoop here. That's working pretty good. A 
Okay, I'm going to get the rest of these on the cookie sheet, and I'll be back in a second just in time to uh, put the pecans in the center. So hold on. I have them all scooped out, and it was just shy of two dozen, so I have 23 cookies here. So if you use just a little bit of a smaller scoop, you probably would have got a full 24. So here are my pecans, and I'm just going to press them into the center of each cookie. And that's all there is to it. I mean, these are super easy. The only question I have is, will they turn out? Because this is not the recipe that I normally use, and I could not remember exactly what it was, but it wasn't this recipe. So it was with a cake mix, but um, I think, the, like I said, the ingredients were just a little bit different. Okay, I am going to get the rest of these in here and I will be back when we're ready to pull them out of the oven. So here are the unbaked cookies and I'll be back in a second. The cookies are done. They are very cake-like looking. They're not quite the same as the recipe that I used before but they smell good and I think they'll, I think they'll taste good good, but the uh, recipe that I used before, the cookies were flatter and more like a cookie and not so fluffy, but I think these will be good. So I'm going to scoop them off the tray and uh, let them cool down, and then I'll be back with the taste test. All right, crush your fingers. to show you the bottom. They're just ever so lightly brown. I did cook them for the full 12 minutes at 350 degrees. So let's give them a taste and I have my coffee ready. They smell like lemon. They're good. I like, I prefer my other one recipe that I had, but these are really good and I recommend, I do recommend this recipe because they taste great. Okay, that's it for now. Um, check back with me next Sunday to see what I'm going to be cooking. I never know till usually the night before. Okay, or sometimes that day. Okay, because I cook and upload on the very same day, so it varies the time as to when I get my video up on Sunday. It could be early or it could be later in the evening. Okay, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.